Welcome back to Muscle TV. Well, Dirk Lamb's routines are always a bit different to the norm, but always super effective. And tonight's is no different as he takes us through a fantastic boxing circuit. Take it away, mate. Today we're doing a circuit that we generally use three or four weeks out before a fight for the fighters who are trained. Today we're going to be joined by Camille and Ibrahim Bala. They're boxers of a pretty high pedigree. They've turned pro. Ibrahim's gone to the Olympics and they've had several pro fights and they currently hold championships in Australia. With the two boxers we're using today, we're going to do three minute circuits which reflect exactly what they do in a boxing fight. We've got five of them to do. When we complete all five mini circuits, it'll go for 15 minutes. More often than not, we'll repeat the circuit three times. That's a total of 45 minutes with a short rest in between. Now within each three minute block for each circuit, we'll be doing a minute of three different exercises. So you're not just doing one exercise for the entirety. And again, it has to reflect sort of the different movements that'll happen in a ring. This circuit that we'll perform today isn't just solely for boxers. Anyone really can use this to improve their movement, improve their fitness. You could also use this as a fat loss circuit if that's what you're trying to do. All right, boys, ready to go? Yep. Set, minutes on, go. So the first circuit the boys will be performing involves a speed ladder. Good. So we're going to use the speed ladder with the boys to hone in on their footwork. Stick that jab, boom, yeah. The second exercise in circuit one will be using a tiny little weighted ball and they can actually clutch it in the palm of their hands and let go of it exactly like a punch. So obviously it's working the muscles involved in punching. There is a, a lot of hand-eye coordination involved with it as well because the guys will have to catch it as it bounces off the wall and try to get off their next throw as fast as they can. The third exercise in circuit one, the boys will be performing as partners will be a simple throwing exercise with a medicine ball for their obliques. Right. Face the other way and go for it. They'll perform 30 seconds facing one direction, 30 seconds facing the other, so there's obviously a balance. Yep. All right. Have a minute's rest, we go to circuit two. Circuit two, we're going to, again, use a ladder drill. However, we're just going to change the pattern of the footwork. I stick that jab right out, Ken. That's it. Like you're really hitting me. Come on. They'll be using, again, the dumbbell to jab with to build up the coordination of using their feet and their hands together. Uh, we're going to change the throw for the second exercise. They're going to perform what I would term a discus style of throw into the wall. And that's really to build the rotational power that you'll find in punching, especially when you're hooking. It might not be exactly the way it looks when you're throwing a punch, but in terms of the way the muscles are loaded, it, it is quite similar. So in circuit two, the third exercise they're performing is another rotational exercise performed on the wall. They'll have a weighted bag. They'll actually stand in their boxing stance and they'll perform what we call a rotational smash, just going left to right for the duration Three, of a minute. Two, one. Take a minute rest. We then move into circuit three. Minutes on, go. Again, we change up the ladder drill. Instead of moving up and down, we're actually going to get them to do side to side or lateral movement, as we like to say, which is extremely important in boxing, obviously. Again, they're going to be using the small dumbbells for their punches in that too. And then we're going to use the Smith machine. We're going to set it at a certain height, and the boy's going to do ducking and weaving drills underneath it. Good. The last exercise we'll do in circuit three is a little dumbbell squatting exercise with a twist. Okay. Again, it's just to build up a very specific movement pattern that we find in boxing. Good. Keep the rhythm up right till the end. Three, two, have a rest. Circuit number four, Go. we're going to use the speed ladder entirely different. So instead of for footwork, we're actually going to do work for their arms. Builds up stability in the joints, in the wrist, Beautiful. elbow and shoulder, which are the three main joints when you're throwing punches. The second exercise we'll do is another upper body one using a kettlebell. Simply call it an up and out press. Again, it's just to build stamina through the shoulders. Pushing out in front of you is the way a punch is thrown. But obviously, we know that punches can be thrown in different planes of motion. So you've got a straight punch, you've got your hooking kind of punches, you've also got uppercuts. So this will help the shoulder in two different planes of motion, which you'll find in a boxing fight. All right, we're on the 20, bro. Three, we're going to do an exercise, what we call anchors. It's really a leg exercise because your legs are just bobbing up and down continually. The real good benefit with this one is, is the hand-eye coordination. Now, even though it's not highly specific in terms of it's not using a punching movement pattern, but still it requires a massive amount of concentration built into the exercise. From there we move into circuit number five and the final circuit that we'll perform. And go. 
We'll go through a second hand drill on the speed ladder. Even if you're not a fighter, you're going to get a lot of benefit out of following a program like this. And you can make modifications to suit yourself. Again, great for all-round conditioning, excellent for fat loss. Beginners or advanced trainers can use this circuit to get a lot out of it. And then we're going to use an elastic band to do a side squat or a side lunging pattern. The reason why we use a band, one, it's going to allow them to build up a little bit of extra speed because of the band resistance. So when they need to move side to side in a fight, they can do it with greater speed. Also, it's going to allow them to develop power through movements as well and strength and speed. Finally, the boys are going to lie down on a football with some light dumbbells. What I term as rolling punches, that's the exercise they'll be performing. The boys are actually going to roll their upper body off the ball and press out at the same time, which is pretty similar to how they would perform punches when they're boxing. Their body twists and their arm comes out pretty much simultaneously or one just after the other. And we can use the fit ball to emulate that kind of movement pattern. As well as being high level elite athletes, Camille and Ibrahim are also brothers. Usually that means they'll be very competitive. So yeah. I'll put the question to them. Who trains and who works the hardest? Definitely me. Yeah? Well, as you can see by the sweat, well, we just did. Who's working harder? Well, we're going to use round two to see exactly who does work the hardest. <laughs> All right, let's find All right. it. Nice, you. That's it. That's it. Good time, Eddie. Nice. Very nice, Eddie. Good. Get your rhythm first. Get your rhythm up. Beautiful. Get them hands up. Your the shoulders getting tired. Thanks, Brad. Thanks. Good job, Brad.